hi guys and welcome to c sharp tutorial of student database management system developed using my sql workbench okay now let me show you guys how this works here have the details of the bora omen and and if we click on the student records here as you can see the details of the bora omen is now right there okay so all we need to do is to come over here and just click on new now let me show you guys the database as well this is the database the database does not include the details of deborah omen so let's come back in here and click on odd there we go telling us the system is updated click on ok if we come back in here now we can see the details of deborah there omen Okay, and all of the other information including the Boras grades, subjects and so on there and the date and the date as well right there so let's come back in here to the university system itself we can always reset if we want if we click on reset there we go all the information gone and one other thing is we can come in here to the student records in there and just click if we click here we can populate that apart from the guidance details okay now let's let's just assume we're entering new students new student details in there we can change this okay to computing uh, let's see let's go for games there and we can also just change the course, the unit if we want. Just click on it and let's change the grades that we have on the, the unit. Or you can enter a fresh new one. So, in here, I'm going to enter the guidance details. Let's assume the guidance is the sister, and the sister's name is Grace Johnson. And the name in here is Johnson as well. Let's change that to Johnson and here we can just change that to Helen and Helen student details we are meant to change that as well and right here address this is number 19 Kings Kingstown female date of birth let's change that 2001 the month and this we change this as well telephone number we can just change that there we go and here that's gonna be a Helen there so the address is gonna remain the same so let's just copy the address paste that in here mobile number and the email so come right here we can just assume the email is grace at there that's it so what we then need to do now to work out the result we just need to click on result here you can click on exit if you want no we need to enter all of these details we need to populate it straight into the the student records here as you can see her details is not there, Helen's details is not there and we don't also have Helen's details on the database itself so all we need to then do is just click on add telling us the the data is successfully added straight onto the workbook and the student record that is Helen details here and just for your information guys this is just an overview I'll see you with the full tutorial